I'd like to take some time to talk about melodic motion etude number six. There's three variants of the line, and it's basically going from A minor to D minor to E7 and back home to A minor. If you haven't yet done so, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe. Please like, share, and leave a comment. If you'd like to make a donation to the channel, the PayPal information's in the description below. And let's get started. So this begins with a little A minor move each, each time here. So we start with A, 12th fret, 5th string, and jump to a f the interval of a 5th. on the ninth fret of the third string. Then we put a little first inversion sixth here, C and A, the tenth fret, fourth and second strings, and a melodic pitch above. So 12, 9, 10 and 10, 12 on the second string. And now a little D minor. This is 10 and 10, F and D, 10th fret, 3rd and 1st strings, a C passing, and we're going to come down into 12 and 12, D and B, with a, uh, with a passing A underneath. And now a little E7. So here's B and G sharp, 9 and 9 on strings 4 and 2. A little melodic walk up of half step, whole step, 9, 10, 12, G sharp, A, B. And when we land on B, we're going to have this G sharp breakout. So a tenth interval here between the fifth and second strings, 11 and 12th frets. Then we're going to walk up. Sixth, C and A, maybe bar, whole step up to 12. And when we land on that C, we're going to go to the A, 12th fret, so a tenth again. Bar, extend to the tenth, up, and A. So we end up with 10 and 10, 12. 13, and when we go to C on the 13th fret, we have A in the bass. So that's the first variation. Now we're just going to shift the bass notes around. Same line, but slightly different bass line and in a different register. So we're starting out the same. 12, A, E, third string, ninth fret, and coming up to B. C and A up to B. And now we have first inversion D minor, eight and 10 on strings five and one, F and D with a C underneath, walking down to the root D of a D minor chord. So 8 and 10, 8 and 8, 5 and 7, down to 5, B and A. So, so far. Now we have E7, E and G sharp, 7 and 9, on the 5th and 2nd strings, up a half step, neighbor above is A, and we're going to grab first inversion E down here, fourth fret and seventh fret of the sixth and first strings, G sharp and B, now we need to get A minor back, so our A minor is going to be C and A, 3 and 5, 
on the fifth and first strings. We're gonna reach up to seven. And then we end up with A and C on the fifth fret of the sixth string and the eighth fret of the first string. And now the third variation. We're going to start with an it's an inversion of the line and now the the bass has the melody. So we're going to start on A here, 4th string, 7th fret. And go down to the octave A at the 5th fret of the 6th string. And immediately jump to a first inversion A minor. C is in the bass. Eight and seven. And we're gonna pass from A to B melodically, seventh to ninth fret, fourth string. And right where we are, we're gonna get first inversion D minor. F and D frets 8 and 7. So we're going to come down from this D pitch to C, 10th fret. So F and D with a C passing. And now we're going to get D and B, 10 and 9, strings 6 and 4, down to the 7th fret, A. Just even practicing that much can really open doors. So we're going to carry on. And now, the bass, G sharp in the upper voice, 7 and 6, this is an E7 chord in 2nd inversion, that means the 5th is in the bass, so B and G sharp, we're going to walk up, that G sharp is going to come up to A, passing, and now G sharp and B, 4th fret, G sharp and B, 6th string, 3rd string, 4th fret, to finish it off. So we're going to have C and A here, first inversion A minor, fifth and third strings, and coming to rest, A passing B, fourth fret, and A and C a tenth. found something of interest here that you can add to your music. If you've watched this far, I really appreciate it. Thanks for your support, and I do wish you a very good day.